this does is it builds enormous temperature contrasts right over the top of the British Isles around about the Christmas period, where this boundary lies is going to be crucial for the weather that we see. Now, for some, there could be some snow showers around. It would be quite cold, a lot of dry weather with some sunshine. Others might well see a spell of heavy rain with mild conditions between these two zones. Well, there might be something potentially a little bit more disruptive. We're not sure where this boundary will end up being. That's the bit that's uncertain. We'll be firming up on that over the next few days. This is BBC News. The headlines at five. Government scientific advisers warn tougher COVID restrictions may be needed very soon in England to avoid a steep rise in hospital admissions as Omicron cases surge. Another 90,000 cases have been reported across the UK in the last 24 hours. London's mayor declares a major incident, meaning the capital's NHS bodies, councils and emergency services can work closer together to limit the impact of the spread of Omicron. It's really important Londoners understand how serious things are. The best thing Londoners can do is to get both vaccines and the booster. They provide extra layers of protection. Football stadiums and shopping centres are among nearly 3,000 venues in England offering booster jabs this weekend. Some are open around the clock. A 27-year-old woman arrested after a fire at Sutton in South London in which four young boys died has been bailed. Six of this weekend's Premier League games have been postponed because of Covid outbreaks at clubs. Only one match will be played in the top flight tonight. That's Leeds United versus Arsenal. Good afternoon. There's a warning that tougher COVID restrictions may need to be brought in very soon in England to avoid hospital admissions potentially peaking at around 3,000 a day as cases of the